Enim and you're watching Business Elite Africa. Today, we'll be starting a series called Richest People in Africa, where we spotlight people in Africa doing excellently such that they are now billionaires that have made the Forbes list. This is the main edition of Richest People in Africa and it begins right after this. Stick around. Africa's Nathan Kirch. Born on January 6, 1932, Nathan Kirch holds a Bachelor of Commerce degree which he obtained at the University of Witwatersrand. He also has an honorary doctorate degree under his belt from the University of Swaziland. Nathan's first contact with the world of business began when he co-ran his father's original motor factory with him back in 1952 after which he launched his own corn milling and malt business. He then went on in 1970 to become a dominant food retailer in South Africa. But here's an interesting backstory to that. Now, Nathan is of white descent, and at the time, due to appetite in South Africa, the government had banned white business owners from trading. However, that did not deter Nathan from remaining on the business scene. What he did was acquire a local wholesale food distributing company called Moshel Jebusher through which he began to supply goods to black shopkeepers. Wow, the tenacity of a billionaire in the making. Now, moving forward. In June of 1976, Nathan launched Jetro, a cash and carry business in Brooklyn, New York. His business acquisitions did not end there, as he went on to buy Restaurant Depot in 1994, which became a sister company under Jetro Holdings. In 2003, something mind-boggling happened. Popular American businessman and philanthropist Warren Buffett offered to be a stakeholder in Jetro Holdings, but Buffett and Nathan could not come to an agreement on the terms of partnership. So guess what Nathan did? He turned down the investment offer. This is Warren Buffett we're talking about, the entire 20th century successful investor, and he was turned down. Nathan, oh Nathan. Talk about a man who knew his onions, his work, and he was not going to accept any offers that weren't in line with his vision. As we go on with the journey of how Nathan Kirsch rose to his business status, we'll notice that Nathan had a thing for buying into businesses. In the late 1970s, he made another acquisition. This time, he purchased a share from Israel Aerospace Industries, keying into Magal security system. Now, Nathan went on to own more corporations and businesses along the years, and by 2009, he owned a 24.2% share in Magal Security. Of course, his percentage grew as the years passed, and by 2014, he sold out his 40% ownership of Magal Security Systems. Other retail property holdings later owns are spread across the United Kingdom, the United States, Australia, and Switzerland. Now, let's talk about Nathan Kirsch's net worth over the years. In 2018, the Sunday Times Rich List named Nathan the 31st richest person in the United Kingdom with an estimated worth of 3.9 billion pounds. In March of 2019, according to Bloomberg, his net worth was slated at $6.9 billion. And in 2019, Nathan Kirsch was ranked the richest person in Switzerland by Forbes. Then in 2020, Nathan Kirsch was ranked 614th on Forbes list of the world's billionaires for 2020 with a ridiculous fortune of four billion dollars wow these are pretty amazing emulation worthy achievements nathan Kirsch did not get to this level of wins without some losses sometime in 2011 he shared some of his stories of losses at the london business school during the tell series Check it out. might say where where i've misjudged people and, and uh, the downfall of my first so-called large business uh, was misjudgment of a guy not in his competence but in his risk taking. Of course we know these losses did not keep him down at all and that can be proven from a recent development which saw his current 8.9 billion dollar net worth take a dip by 260 million dollars. That's a whopping 260 million dollar loss of best belief. That did not leave a dent in his pocket, as Nathan Kirsch still currently stands as the 329th wealthiest man in the world. And that brings us to the end of today's episode of Richest People in Africa. Many more Richest People stories like this will be coming your way. All you have to do is keep your eyes peeled here on Business Elite Africa, BEA TV right here on YouTube. Click on the notification bell so you are notified whenever we broadcast a video. 
Also, do well to like, share, and leave your comments. You can also follow us on our social media platforms. On Instagram, we're at B Elite Africa. Our Twitter handle is at Elite Africa. And Facebook is Business Elite Africa. Thank you for watching and sticking it out with us. My name is Beatrice Enem, and until next time, bye bye.